Hi guys, I'm coming to you live from my closet, as I promised before. Um, sorry about the lighting in here, it's a little dim um, because I really do keep my curtain closed just for privacy because this is where I get dressed. Um, but I'm going to give out some tips on closet organization. Um, this is my actual closet that I'm standing in. It was actually a baby's room, actually. And, um, we converted this room into my closet and um, it's worked out. My husband built a lot of stuff in here to accommodate a lot of the stuff that I have, um, but it, it works out and um, we're just going to go through four easy steps just like we did previously about our wardrobes from working at home. So we first, I just want to say that I understand that when you are cleaning out your closet and doing an overhaul, it's not easy. It's literally you're detoxing and you're getting rid of things that you might feel that are very important to you. It's basically nostalgia. It's, 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 it's sometimes painful to see clothes that you wore at specific times of your life and you're giving them, wet, giving them away. So what I'm gonna say is take your time. You don't have to give everything away. Um, just take your time and how long it, however long it takes you to do your overhaul or, or do whatever you need to do to just declutter your closet. Take the time you need because it's sensitive to certain people and I understand that. So we're first going to talk about what I use to uh, kind of organize like my shoes and all of that stuff. And I, I know I have people who ask me how many shoes that I have. A lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So I have to find some way to keep them organized. So I buy lots of these plastic bins to keep my shoes in. They fit, you can buy whatever size you want, but literally they're like $2. They fit your shoes perfectly, like whatever shoe you, um, not every shoe, not a boot or a wedge, but your average shoe, that it does fit. So I just tuck these away in plastic bins and they work very, very well. Also, I use plastic bins for my jewelry as well. So, you know, there is summer jewelry, there's winter jewelry, there's fall jewelry. If you have one of these plastic bins, I think I got these at Michael's for like three, three dollars. It's easy, you put your fall, your winter, and then you could put your dressy as well. If you have something that's very sensitive and pearls, put those separately, but these plastic bins are wonderful for your jewelry to separate by season. Now, let's get into actually separating your clothes. So I put my clothes in four piles. I put a donation pile, a winter, a fall, and my spring and summer I put together because I interchange those. And then I also have a scrap one, which I'll talk to you about the scraps. The scraps are usually used like I've been doing some sewing and I've taken sewing classes so I use some of those to learn how to sew a little bit better and we can also use those now for masks. So if you have old t-shirts that you don't want anymore, don't throw them away, scrap them, give them to someone who might sew and that would be great so they can make you know masks for everyone. So that's a great idea, but I, I just started doing the scraps because I was actually sewing because I got a sewing machine for Christmas. So I'm going to learn how to sew. I knew how to sew, but I'm, I'm practicing a lot better, a lot better now. The next thing I would suggest is emptying your entire closet, like take everything off of the, the out of the closet and just take it out so you can have a blank slate. So it's not it's overwhelming at first but when you begin to hang up your clothes and I color coat my clothing because it's easier for me like it's, it's super easy when I'm actually <laughs> I can just go and see I need a black pair of pants or interchange or color block just so I definitely just color block all of my clothes hi everyone hi Mia hi Tima how are you <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope your family is safe. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, also, when you empty out your closet, it gives you a sense of how much stuff you have. And if you're overwhelmed, that means you have too much stuff. <laughs> too much. So 
just I would suggest once you overload and take everything out is anything that you don't want put it in that donation pile and then there's some things you're gonna not even want to give people so please don't give people like your holy stuff like stuff that we don't <laughs> you know that you wouldn't even wear just when you go to that donation pile make sure it's something worthwhile something you might have worn maybe once and you don't feel like you need to wear it again just don't give people you know stuff that you wouldn't wear the next thing that I would say is get a picture and a magazine and see how you want your closet to look Mine's is very basic because I don't like a lot of stuff in my closet. <laughs> I don't. I have enough clothes. So I don't need pictures. I don't need seating. I don't need any of that stuff. So what I do is basically make sure that it's organized by color. And then I haven't so shown you guys the shoe side yet. That'll be at a later date because on the other side of this room is the shoe side. Um, the next one is what I would say is take measurements. Because if you have a room that you can actually do something with, that you can recreate, take measurements from the walls and see how, and from the ceiling to see if you can add shelving or anything like that. So if you have shelving, hi, Danielle, how are you? <laughs> it's so nice to see everybody Well, on online. I wish I could see you in person, but it's, I wish I could see you in person. I wish I really could. So take measurements so you can get like proper shelving and things like that. So you can have some, like an organized space. Like here we have, we measured how far we wanted everything from the ceiling to the floor. And my husband decided he wanted two sections. So I have two sections, the bottom and the top. Now I do have to stand on a stool because I'm so short <laughs> to get to the top where all my plastic bins are where my shoes those are some of them but like I said my other side is all shoes and my purses are at the top of the other side so the next thing that I would say is once you get measurements and you figure out how your room wants to you want it to look is make sure that when you're putting your clothes away that you're putting them in making the space work for you so if you have t-shirts I would suggest rolling them up Hi, Lana. That's my friend from Cali. Hi. Love you. I miss you. <laughs> um, I would roll up my denim t-shirts so you can maximize on your space. Because I think a lot of people think that if you flatten your clothes, that actually has a lot of space, but it really doesn't. If you roll it up and you could put it in a space to maximize, then it would be great. And they don't fall or anything like when you roll them. Trust me. I, I love it. So... Now with the hangers, I would say coordinate your hangers, but different stores sell different hangers. And I find myself, I picked out like a hundred hangers before and then they, I don't see that hanger again in stores <laughs> at all. So I really don't, somebody said, I love you more. Oh, thank you, Alana, I love you too. <laughs> so. For me, hangers are not a big thing. I know some people like to color coordinate their hangers, and if you like to do that, go ahead. It's, it's no problem. But if you are like me who just wants to see your, your stuff organized, just do what I do. Get the hangers and hang the stuff up. Now, for winter, when I said earlier that spring and summer, for me, I don't separate. And the reason why, because I interchange my spring and my summer clothing because you can wear both at the same. It's like, it depends on what it is, but for me, I interchange my spring and my summer. So for here, I know you guys can't see everything because I don't have everything showing, but you can kind of tell that I'm color coordinating like my closet. So all of my, like I have gray at the, the far side, then I have black. These are like my purples and maroons, then tans, whites, pinks reds all of those and then towards the bottom i have like neon greens but people always ask me well what do you do with the funny type stuff <laughs> that you have and i figure this i'm just going to show you a shirt that i used to be like what where can i put this shirt because it has i go by the base color which would be this tan color here to uh organize it so it would go in my tans even though that the this is lace but it still would go with my tans because the base color here is tan. So I would just tuck that in here. 
where my other tans are. So I want you guys to ask me questions too. Latia, how are you? So if you guys have any questions about what I'm saying or, and where I got my wall unit from was Home Depot. So all the tubing, all of the racks, all of that is from Home Depot. And you can actually build what you want. You can go and they will design it. You tell them what you want, how your measurements, that's why I said, please measure your wall from your wall to um, your ceiling to your floor and then across your walls and they will tell you exactly what you need and my husband actually did this when I was away um, I think I was working and he did all of this so I'm grateful that my husband did that um, somebody asked me do I offer this as a service I absolutely do I really do and I absolutely will come to your home when we're allowed <laughs> to show you how to organize and just get things straight and get rid of things that you think you need that you really, really don't. Because my motto is if you haven't worn this that piece of clothing in two to three years, you probably won't be using that <laughs> for me. But some people are different. There are some pieces that I do keep because they're vintage. But most trendy pieces, I don't keep a lot. I keep a lot of classic pieces that I can wear and interchange with. And if you ever see my website, um, that's why my logo is classy, edgy, and unique. Because I like a, a classic and edgy look. But I'm not that trendy. People think that I'm really trendy. But I really am not. I really just like to... Um, have a look that is classic that I can use for years basically and that's how I'm, my website looks somebody says how long does it take to install so my husband did it in 48 hours so <laughs> I'm not sure um, but he he's done this all of his life he works in construction and he knows how to do this stuff but if you go to Home Depot you could get instructions and I'm sure in 48 hours and maybe it might take a week but at least you have it. Somebody's asking to two to three years get rid of it unless it's vintage. Exactly. I, it's unless it's a vintage outfit or a look, then I would say pitch it if it's really really trendy. Because I have my <laughs> when I go and purchase clothing, I don't look for a trend. I look for classic looks. So what I do my base so my pants. My, my, my pants will be a classic look, but I might get a trendy shirt to go with it. Um, and that shirt might just be for that year. That's a, outfit, that's a shirt that I may give away, you know what I mean, to interchange it. So is there another one? Notes from Sanina. Oh, thank you, Latia. <laughs> so the install, I think it was like 48 hours. I don't think it was that long at all. So... What else I'm going to talk about is how I pick out my clothing for the day. And that's something else. <laughs> so, at night, I try so hard at night, but it's so hard. And I know people are mommies, and they work, and go to school, on the side, have second jobs. But my suggestion is, if you could pick out your clothes the night before, at least two outfits, because the weather changes overnight sometimes, that's how I pick out my clothing. So... I might pick out a base, which would be like a pants or um, uh, like a shirt. And I ask myself, okay, what type of earrings, what type of necklaces am I going to wear? I'm just pulling out a necklace for her. So, so today, so I would have picked out a, so this is like a little swing dress with pockets. So... What I do is I think about the weather, too, and if I need a third piece. And a third piece, guys, is only a covering. Say that it's a, like a jean jacket, and I'll take a little jean jacket to wear with this. It's like a little crop one, just in case I get cold. Like a, This has more of a casual look, but I would wear this to work, but I would take off my jacket when I got to work because this is just like an outside look. But... Um, I don't really have my shoes out right now. I wish I could get you guys my shoes, but <laughs> they're on the other side of the wall. But when I pick out my clothing, I try to pick out a whole look, and I pick out two for the weather. 
and if the one doesn't work I at least I have another outfit so I'm not rushing around the next like the same day trying to get out for work so that's one of my tips just pick out two outfits for the um, next morning so you're not running around and trying to figure out what the outfit is somebody else is somebody oh you're taking notes I'm so happy you're taking notes Latia <laughs> that's my cousin guys she's so supportive and she's a great author get her book <laughs> So, and I'm so happy to see, Alana is one of my best friends from, she lives on the other side of the country, but she's my ace. <laughs> I love her. She always checks on me. She she doesn't ever say, you know, you haven't called me in a while because she knows I'm busy, but that's my ace. I love her to death. <laughs> Nobody can do anything to her. <laughs> so, as you will see, um, I wear my products, and I think any good businesswoman should be wearing their products. So I have a lot of the stuff that I have had in my collections. Um, this is like a new one. The little puffy shirt. We have this in our collection right now. And that was like a Valentine's Day look that I wore. The But these sleeves are actually in. This is like a trendy look. So somebody might be getting <laughs> this um, once I'm not wearing it. Because I've only think I've worn it once. But this is a trendy look. It's still on our website. We have some spring dresses that are in. Um, but I will let you guys know when I'm selling things again. Because I'm not selling anything right now. I never thought of picking out outfits for the week. You, That's a good idea. I'm telling you, it's, very, it's a great idea. It helps to cut down on what you... Not even what you... I don't even want to think about what I'm wearing the, the whole week. So I do have another closet in my bedroom where I transfer the clothes that I'm thinking about wearing for the, that day. And so it's easy for me to just go in my bedroom and pick out because there's nothing in that closet. Everything is in this room. Does anybody have any questions for me? If you don't, I have a little bit more notes here. I'm sorry, I'm on my lap. Top. Now, with your denims, I hang up my denims. A lot of people don't um, because I get the thick, like, white hangers because I just think it makes the jean look better. <laughs> but if you don't, you can actually still just fold up your jeans and stack them in a space that is conducive for your jeans. I don't, I really don't, I always, I hang up my jeans. I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> because I don't really have time to fold anything. And if you're like me doing laundry, I don't like to fold. <laughs> but I do like to roll t-shirts. I roll the t-shirts up because it's it's just the easiest thing to do. My, what I will say is make sure that you have bins when you are separating your clothing. And if you have children, get them involved. They like doing this stuff. <laughs> My son used to help around the house with organizing and stuff. But get them involved, get some bins, get like separate bins and have them put your colors however you want to coordinate, put however you want to do it. Make sure you um, just color coordinate so you can color block during your week. Everybody knows how I am. <laughs> I'm very, I'm a stickler on, um, and Latia will tell you because I've styled her for several events. Um... Your jewelry pieces are the bomb. I love... Oh, thank you, Caprice. That is so sweet. I really appreciate that. You guys want to make me cry. Because <laughs> I'm never on social media. And I really um, try... The reason why I'm not on social media as much is because I'm a little... I'm private, but I like to protect my brand. But I do like to stay connected to you guys because you guys are wonderful. So don't make me cry. <laughs> Because I really pick out the stuff to make sure that you guys look nice. I want women to feel good and be better. Um, because I've been through some things. <laughs> so I want women to feel good. So thank you so much for saying that. That just gave me life. So I do have some other pieces of jewelry that you guys might like. So... This is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. <laughs> I love big jewelry. Thank you for taking notes, Latia. I appreciate it. Um, so I love like big pieces, big statement pieces. And this looks good 
with like a tank and a blazer it looks awesome it actually looks like it's a part of your shirt when it's really not so you can remove it and it it, it looks amazing on so I would wear this with um, a cape I'm trying to figure out where my cape is it's a white cape oh here it is so this is a white cape so I would pair it with this and you guys know with the, and it comes up like a choker. So if you put like a tank on, it really act, looks like it is with the, um, connected to the shirt. It's that pretty. It looks beautiful on with capes. And I know people say that capes are not in. Yes, they still are. When you rock, let me tell you about classic pieces. When it's a blazer, they are still in. <laughs> so you can wear this with jeans. You can wear it to work. And people don't think that you can wear your, uh, cape with long sleeves you absolutely can you can wear it with a, um, a button-up shirt blouse and then I would suggest if you have like a blouse that has like a bow on it like I have several blouses that have bows let me see you guys so I'm letting you guys into my closet this is so fun <laughs> So this is a polka dot look here. And you can actually just put this through with the cape. And there's the bow is right here. And the bow can stick out here. You can just flip out the bow. Uh, my husband does great bows, actually. <laughs> so, and just access, the, I would access this with another color, which would be like red. You can even do a blue or a neon green color, but I would definitely wear this. This is like a cute little spring look. Okay, so, oh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Latia. Um, I'm going to just, maybe I just need to show you guys some, some more stuff in my closet. <laughs> um, let's see. Some things that I have. I love this blazer here. This is a cute blazer. I think I got this from like New York and Company last season. Um, and I just wore this with a um, jeans, actually. And I brought out the accent color, but I say every woman should have a blazer and a solid color blazer and then one trendy, funky blazer, like something that has colors and bold, something like that. Because when I go to work, I don't want to look like everybody else. I'm sure you don't either. <laughs> and I still want to be me. So I, I get a blazer because you wear blazers at work, but I like to have like a little bit of, you know, sunshine with it, bring Bring some sunshine into your life. 